Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's me, Alejandro Pendosa, Ordinary Chicano. Either way, how you say it, it's all good here. And we're back again for another video as we begin our journey through a new set I'm going to be talking about on the channel for the next three weeks. And that is, of course, the Criterion Collections release of Lars von Trier's Europe Trilogy. Today, we're going to begin that journey with the first film in this set, The Element of Crime. And I hope that this video finds you all well, happy, healthy, in good spirits, and you're watching a lot of great movies because what's better to do than watching some great movies, y'all? And I have been steadily trying to catch up on what I have been backed up on, and today we're going to be starting this journey. Of course, if you enjoy content about physical media or films and TV and all that wonderful stuff, then this is the channel for you. Make sure you click that subscription button and click the notification bell so you don't miss a single piece of content that drops on the, t on the, on the channel. And make sure you also leave a like on the video because that is also very helpful. If you want to lend an extra helping hand and get access to this video earlier than everybody else, then patreon.com slash the is your place to go. Also, there's a lot of other cool exclusives like video essays, but of course it is not mandatory, but it is appreciated. Either way, I appreciate you all watching these videos and it's there if you want to help. If you don't, if you can't, then it's understandable. Either way, how it goes, let's go ahead and talk about the element of crime from Lars von Trier's Europe Trilogy presented by the Criterion Collection. As you all know, whenever we talk about a set, I'm going to read the back here and then we're going to look at the films individually. We're going to look at the packaging and then from there we'll go into talking about the film and whatnot. But of course, this is Lars von Trier's Europe Trilogy. With his dazzling first three features, Lars von Trier sought nothing less than to map the soul of Europe, its troubled past, anxious present, and uncertain future. Linked by a fascination with hypnotic states and the mesmeric possibilities of cinema, the films that make up the Europe trilogy The Element of Crime, Epidemic, and Europa filter the continent's turbulent history, guilt, and traumas through the Danish provocateur's audacious deconstructions of genre including film noir, melodrama, horror, and science fiction. Above all, they are bravura showcases for Von Trier's hallucinatory visuals, with each shot a tour de force of technical invention and dark imagination. Of course, it is three films, and this is the front of the set. This is the back. This is the spine that houses the three films, and then this is the spine on this side. And this comes in at spine number 1168. Note that these three films are not individually numbered. And as I'm noticing, uh, re the recent addition to the Criterion Collection as being announced for November's titles, the Jackie Chan box set that's coming is, individual, is not individually numbered as well. So I wonder if maybe that's the case for these box sets coming forward. Uh, I'm not sure because the Pasolini box set isn't even numbered. But yeah, this comes in at spine number 1168. And it is a digipack, so all you do is just remove this. And the box comes out. And you have the three films in here. You have the element of crime. It comes with a booklet. The in the back of the booklet. And it comes with some essays, the cast and crew information, acknowledgement, special thanks, and transfer notes. But yeah, it's uh, your standard booklet here, stapled booklet, but yeah, that's all that's included in here. And then you have Epidemic. And then you have the final film, Europa. And we're going to be going through these three films, and today we're going to be starting with The Elements of Crime. But yeah, I bought this during the uh, Criterion Flash Sale on the last um, the last Flash Sale along with uh, Inland Empire, and I'm finally going to get to it now. But let's go ahead and look at the Element of Crime now. The Element of Crime, Lars von Trier's stunning debut feature, is a grungily expressionistic hallucination, a trench-like trawl through fractured memories, a murder mystery, and the psychic limbo of cultural displacement. From his exile in Cairo, a former police investigator, Michael Elphick, undergoes hypnosis in order to relive his memories of Europe and his last case. 
for which he went to dangerous lengths to enter into the mind of and catch a serial killer targeting children. Bathed in a sulfurous yellow glow, pierced only by startling flashes of electric blue and red, the element of crime combines hard-boiled hard noir, dystopian science fiction, and dazzling operatic flourishes to yield a celluloid nightmare of terrifying beauty. And included in this Blu-ray special edition is a 3K digital restoration approved by director Lars von Trier with uncompressed manual soundtrack, audio commentaries featuring von Trier, director of photography Tom Elling, editor Tomas Gislason, Filmmaker and critic Stig Bjorkman and film scholar uh, Peter Schepler. Transformer, a portrait of Lars von Trier, a 1997 documentary by Bjorkman. Making of documentary from 1984. Programs featuring interviews with Elin, uh, Elin Gislason, Schepler, assistant director Alex Sandgren, executive producer Pierre Holst. Production manager Per Armin and crew members Peter Grant, Beer Berger Larson, and Hendrik Fle Fleischer. Two short student films by Von Trier and Nocturne from 1990 and Images of Liberation from 1982. A trailer and English subtitles for the deaf and, and hard of hearing. And of course, this is the front. This is the back. This is the spine. And you just open it up and you have your Blu-ray disc right there. That's pretty much it for that packaging. Of course, the other ones are pretty much the same, but we'll go through those as we continue our journey through this set. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this film. Now, I am a big fan of Lars von Trier. I have Antichrist in my collection from Criterion. I love Melancholia, I love Nymphomaniac Volume 1 and Volume 2. Those two films together make one of, make my fav one of my favorite movies of all time. And I also love The House that Jack Bill. And I think that Lars is a really interesting filmmaker who sometimes taps into the corners of cinema that not a lot of people have the balls to. And because of that, I respect the hell out of Lars. And I think that he's an incredible filmmaker. And yet, I had never touched this film before because, well, to be fair, it wasn't widely available as it was now. And I'm glad that it was through Criterion that I finally got to get this film and I was able to finally watch it, especially in this restored version. But I have to say, having watched this now, I'm not the biggest fan of the element of crime. You can tell that this is truly where Lars von Trier begins his career. This is his first film and He's lacking a lot of the cohesion and the organization that comes with the films that Lars makes. I can't say that this is better than Antichrist, than Melancholia, than House and Jack Bill or Nymphomaniac because it just doesn't stack up against it. But one thing I really do like about this film and I think that is that I respect a lot is that you can tell where Lars begins his journey. You see his fascination with slow motion. You see his fascination with uh, his framing choices and the cinematic language that he's going to be building throughout the years when it comes to his filmography. And because of that, I found myself gravitating towards this film and I was able to finish it. But I just could not get behind this story from Lars von Trier. It's such an interesting approach to the noir and I really do respect the hell out of Lars for, for taking this approach. And I love the cinematography and the approach to the coloring of the film. But it just doesn't work for its runtime and its atrocious pacing. The film takes forever to get its ground moving and then when it finally does have its footing it's in the third act and I just found myself just not gravitating towards the story and more so the visual elements of the film but nonetheless like I said I, I, I don't like this movie but I really do respect it and I respect where Lars is coming from and where he's creating his new cinematic language that he's going to perfect throughout the years and hopefully the other films in this set are better but as of right now as where we're starting the elements of crime is nowhere near being the surprise from Lars von Trier and it is solid ground to work off of but I can't say that I really enjoyed it. Now let's talk about the restoration. I watched this film on my 4k 
player on my 4K TV and it is a 3K digital restoration on a Mono Neuro soundtrack and it is being uh, restored from the 16 millimeter uh, original camera negatives and they maybe that's why they restored it in 3K. I had never seen anything in 3K before. So honestly, if we're gonna be truthful here between each other, I think what I saw on my TV was actually 3K resolution and not 2K. But remember y'all, my TV and my player do upscale it a little bit. Now this is the part where Criterion always satisfies me. Even though I don't like this movie, I have to say that the company who did the restoration on this did great. So this was put through the Ariscan uh, technology and was restored with that. And you can tell that they really put some work into bringing out this new life from the elements of crime. I love the way that the almost yellow sepia tone registers on my TV and those moments where you have green and blue in the film because they're coming from like TV screens. They just register so well. And I really, really like that. I love the resolution. I think that the contrast works so well. And of course, when you're playing with the, with the playground of noir, you must have some great contrast and high contrast. And that is present within the elements of crime. Now, there is a good amount of grain, but grain isn't terrible. It's not something that we should look down upon but it's being restored from a 60 millimeter camera negative. And because of that, grain is gonna be more present. So what they were able to keep doesn't really distract the viewer from the film, but it is very present in there and you do notice it. But overall, I really like the way that it plays out, y'all. I really do enjoy this transfer. And I've gotta say, it makes me really interested to see what Europa and Epidemic are going to look like because one of them is also a 3K scan, and then the last one, Europa, is a 4K digital restoration. So I really did think that this video transfer was fantastic. Now the audio, like I always say, I don't have a speaker system, but it is a modern Euro soundtrack, and it is playing from my TV. And I've got to say that there's no complaints here. I think it sounds great. It does sound a little bit, you know, scratchy, and it sounds like there's a, some popping, but that's because of the 16 millimeter camera negative and it isn't going to be having the best audio soundtrack that you would get from other films but from what it's coming from and what it is being presented i can't say that i'm disappointed i love the way that the dialogue was presented i think that the sound design with the sound effects work well everything's balanced nothing's too loud along with the score and honestly that's all you can ask for so when it comes to the video and audio aspect i loved this about the film the elements of crime but when it comes to the story and the film itself, it just didn't do it for me. But like I said, I respect the hell out of Lars von Trier and what he did in this film. He does bring a different approach to the noir genre. And because of that, I can say that it was at least an okay film, but it's not something that I want to rewatch or that I necessarily am going to, you know, uh, clamor to show anybody because to be honest it just didn't do it to, didn't do it for me like that to go up to date with me on all things social media make sure you follow me at the nerd chicano on instagram twitter tiktok letterbox serialized and on twitch i'm on i'm on the same handle on all of those and of course the nerdcore.com and youtube and twitch at the nerdcore to keep up to date with everything that the nerdcore is doing and all the podcasts that we're making at this moment but of course i will catch you all in the next video as we continue our journey as we look at the second film in this set epidemic but in the meantime to my wonderful cinephiles and renowned scholars celebrate the love of cinema today tomorrow and every day after catch you all in the next one guys peace